What's going on, everyone? We're going to get started with an overview of what Metal Monsters is. Metal Monsters is an attack defend operation. Uh, Russia, starting at their main up north, they're going to be looking for a uh, U.S. cop. Uh, U.S. cop going to be at one of these four locations on the map. Charlie 12, Echo 10, Kilo 10, Char uh, Oscar 12. Uh, U.S. get to... Uh, you let's see, they start with as many lodges that are indicated on these locations. So for Charlie 12, Oscar 12, they'll get two. For Echo 10, Kilo 10, they'll get three. Uh, there's also an AT team that uh, will be starting off of the point. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is uh. Logi run. No, let, I take that back. There are no Logi runs. So. Basically, everyone on the team will start on the point for US. We'll start at the point that is chosen. The AT team will start off. Uh, well, the AT squad will start over there in uh, Romeo 12. Sorry. Is that Romeo 12? Romeo 17. AT squad is two hats, two, uh, two AT 12 hats, two Moz hats, an engineer, two Mat V toes, and a Mat V 240. The uh, command have a cast fire support mission on call. And the cop can have two HMGs, two tows, and fortifications. Every US squad will have <laughs> two FTLs, two ARs, two AT-12 hats, and a medic. So those are the three base squads, not the AT squad that starts over in Romeo 17. The three squads that start on defense have two hats. So that's eight, ten hats in the entire U.S. platoon, plus two Mat Vs with tow launchers, plus they could build two more tows at their base. The name of the game is distance shooting. That is entirely what is going on here. We're going to be following Russia on this engagement. So Russia will be our blue four. U.S. will be in red. Anyways, welcome to Operation Metal Monster. Anyway, let's get the Americans into a briefing. have foolishly set up a FOB somewhere in Yehirivka. And by somewhere, I mean we flew a Pachella over the region uh, a couple hours ago, and we've located it. It's somewhere in Echo 10. And by somewhere in Echo 10, I mean we're thinking that it's probably the only defensible location within Echo 10, which is that cluster of structures in Echo 10 to 8. So that's going to be our presumed FOB location for now. Keep in mind, it might be somewhere else, but that's probably where it's going to be. It could also be in the trench just behind it. So, uh, you know, there's, there's this little, like, not trench, it's more like a drainage running back there, but it's going to be in that part of Echo 10, no matter what. That we, we can be sure of. It's going to be somewhere back here. It's not going to be a... What field. if it's in the cornfields? It's, trust me, we have three tanks, or sorry, we have two tanks and we have multiple BMPs. It's, it's not going to put it in the cornfield. They're going to put it back in the defensible terrain or in the cluster of things. So what we are going to do is off of live, we're going to get in our vehicles. Uh, and how the vehicle assigned is Revy, uh, Idukin, and Merrick all have mechanized infantry squads. So you have a BMP and then you have a bunch of infantry. And then Dwarf has a, a slightly understrength tank platoon. Um, and then I have a few guys, most of whom I'm going to stick in a BRDM. And uh, yeah, that about covers it. And we're going to convoy off live on the north side of the map, because we got a bunch of ground to cover. We're going to convoy our way over to the Echo Foxtrot 
line. And we're going to kind of proceed down in a platoon line, stretching ourselves both towards the river and over towards the other side of the fields. Um, and we're going to get initially set up, hopefully within the, at least 100 or 200 meters, um, hopefully less than that. We're going to get set up with Iduka over on the river's edge, basically, with his uh, BMP. Next to him will be V Squad with their BMP. The next 100 meter grid square over will be dwarf uh, tanks holding sort of the middle of the formation so they can provide fire support to everyone else. And then over on the other side, we are going to have uh, Revy's, or, sorry, no, Merrick squad uh, with their BMP. And we're just going to proceed directly down towards the US FOB location, uh, engage it head on and hopefully knock out most of its infantry and uh, its anti-tank assets in a very brutal uh, and very quick strike, using overwhelming concentrated firepower to deal with tow positions, uh, entrenched infantry, and uh, then you know keeping our wits about us to potentially deal with flanking hunter-killer anti-tank teams. Does all that make sense? The, no one has board. any difficulty understanding this this plan. Excellent. If it doesn't work, we blame you. Sure, but I gotta tell you, they have two heavy anti tank rockets per squad, so like, it's not really my fault. So the um, distance is our friend in this you one. Guy. Nerfed All right, those and uh, push Revy had an actual question though. Oh wait, is this the wrong type of BRDM? Oh, this is the wrong type of BRDM. We'll have to spawn a BRDM. Um, anyway. <laughs> Revy, you had an actual question about some point. Where are we dismounting? Somewhere We're going to dismount there in Echo at 6? the... Uh, yeah, pretty much. Up, up there in Echo 6, we'll dismount everyone. We will proceed from there. Can we rearm off the uh, vehicles? Yes, you can absolutely rearm off the vehicles. And, okay, some notes about the vehicle. The vehicles are very cool. They have very big guns. Please do not put yourself in front of the vehicle guns when they are firing, and by that I mean like, Dwarf's tanks are in the middle. Do not stray into the line of fire of the tanks. The tanks will try and avoid having you in front of their guns just because the overpressure from firing those giant guns uh, will hurt and kill you if you happen to be in the wrong place. Same to a lesser degree with the BMPs. You do not want to be in front of the BMP when it is firing. So I'd, I'd advise trying to trail not that far, maybe just a little bit behind your armored vehicles, maybe 5, 10 feet, and that should keep you out of harm's way. If you need to cross in front of an armored vehicle's like firing arc, definitely be sure to inform it beforehand and make sure that they understand that you're going to be moving in front of them so that they can switch to like smaller caliber weapon, maybe a coaxial, uh, and avoid killing you. All right, any other who questions? Be the, who are going to be the gunners of the tanks? That's up Dorf to figure out. He is in charge of the tank squad, so I have no idea who will be gunning the tanks. Anything else? I think Chunk is excited for it. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, that bout covers it. So we're going to go ahead and let the U.S. know that we're ready. I'm going to go ahead and spun in the BRDM. And, uh, yeah, we will... Give Do you mean that we're going to have a Russian, Russian airdrop give us a uh, Dorf, BRDM? Dorf, come to me. You've already injured yourself. Or possibly, don't worry. Um, either way... Yeah, ah, that's we're it. Fucking... We're live. And we're live for round one of Metal Monsters. Yeah, the, the operation sign-up process, I mean, my, my... I would just show up. Sometimes people sign up and they don't show up. The, uh, people overestimate their time, stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of people in that sign-up list because of exactly that. You know, sometimes people, uh... Sometimes people don't, uh... There's something something changes, they can't uh, participate for whatever reason. It happens. Tanks leading the way here. 
BRDM transport and BMP springing up the rear. Oh lord. Uh, let's just watch and see if Pony rolls his uh, transport. Turn name tags off. It's not important right now. Pony blitzing ahead. And he rolls his transport. What did I tell you? Standard. That's what happens when you go full throttle in the transport on these rocky roads, man. It's not good. Uh, you shouldn't do it. And Pony's learned his lesson. Going full blast. Pony? AT uh, yep. unit has taken a position. Looks like the tow MRAPs are way off to the east side of the map still. They're looking up the main road over in Romeo 13. They're looking northwest. This is a long even draw right here you got infantry off the point i don't even see any emplacements built for uh us on the point here so they're really sticking with this infantry uh concepts they must be really building up the point it's not going to go well for them looks like the 50 ca uh, 50 caliber mrap is making a beeline to help with direct point defense if they don't crash first. We're gonna take a look at the US positions here. The, uh, the base building is commencing. You can see the uh, Hachis are being used as uh, a barrier system, which is kind of depressing because I don't think they get to build ammo boxes. Why are you robbing the... Uh, Does Russia get the intel on the complication? Uh, let me do it. Let me check, actually. I think they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so U.S. can choose where to start. Russia always gets the information on where U.S. starts. Russia about halfway there with their entire convoy. Looks like the transport got fixed. Pony's driving that thing along. BRDM. Fighting uh, a BMP for the lead. Hearing more explosions. Gonna have to be careful. Sometimes these far off explosions could actually be uh, significant, so... We're going to try to keep our heads on a swivel. The, uh... Sounds good. The, um... Engagement distance is going to favor Russia here. Uh, up until U.S. decide to bring some toes into the fight. So they're going to have to sneak these guys in. And hide them. The toes are still holding position. Looks like the 50 cal is doing the same thing off the point. It's still going okay, but 
U.S. just continually building their compound, not building anything in the form of emplacements yet. Looks like we have dismounts. Infantry dismounts from BMPs, and the line is being formed in the six file, just like we anticipated. Vehicles making their move very slowly. There is a fire team over here. We're gonna take a look at the uh, the U.S. positions. Looks like Silent Silas gonna be the first two with eyes on. We also have Lima Bean and Meet Us. Meet Us, the fire team lead for this element. Silence repositioning. I think they might hear some vehicles to their uh, north. Meet Us is keeping his eyes out. Lima Bean is in a pretty good position to hit a vehicle when it comes up on him, but not going to a good position to keep engage a vehicle at range all those trees in his way hey two can you move even closer to the river so i can squeeze some of my guys in that tree line as well i still yeah, don't you, see any emplacements am i missing something why Why is U.S. holding off on these emplacements for so long? One, your, your BMP, yeah, needs to start drifting over. They should so. start getting intelligence right now that the vehicles are coming from the uh, north. Really should start they should know the they should know the Russians yeah. are north. Uh, At a certain point. Yeah, the goal is to have you guys line up with your marks, so. Four, your tanks need to drift as well. I want you in the Echo 88 grid square. When we get At a certain minutes, point, they need to have these defenses up and running. I understand. They have nothing. What is the play here? From US. The 50 cal is driving pack over to the AT team. The AT team have moved forward a whole 300 meters. They're still in a very far off place. Here's the problem with waiting for the last, the problem with, I mean like, the placement, you just have to try. You have two of them. You have 3000 build points, you can move them. It's not a crime. Like, the 
make a guess and have people on there. The Russian, the U.S. don't know they're approaching from the north, but they have to be hearing these vehicles. We're gonna go fly over back to Silent and Silas's location. Not sighted. There's no way they're gonna be able to see them from here. Silas <laughs> might have. This armor running around is fucking needing the server health. Silas, no. See, look, because they're all below the horizon. They're all below the hill. This hill extends out. The Russians are still moving in like. Defilade. They should be able to hear these vehicles. Still nothing. At this rate, I imagine we're going to see infantry contact before they see vehicles. The U.S. is in a pretty bad position. But they have a lot of, uh... I expect we'll first encounter some resistance at the trench in Echo 949. Ponies called out this trench right here. So the BRDM is moving up front, and these guys are moving off. They're gonna hit the, uh, they're gonna use the pipe here to get into the other side of the roadway embankment. Uh, we try to run basic SOTT courses at least once a week. Um, so, okay. so now that we have the platoon line set up, we're gonna go ahead and start trying Just to Just keep checking the calendar for, uh, for basics line. on, uh, our website, squadops.gg. towards that trench, Echo 949, see it runs from, like, uh, Delta 994, down to the bridge. Or, not down to the bridge, down to the green okay. pipe in Echo 965. Just try and, let's try and push our way down there, and then from there we can make our final assault towards the FOB itself. You, uh, Russians moving up pretty, pretty aggressively here, making some significant moves. Tanks leading the center of the port of the push.
definitely shot uh, here, the other but... tank should have a shot. Copy, okay. BMP, oh, they have it looks, uh, squad one BMP. You should be able to see it. Can we get a greater distance on those targets? Far or close? 300 meters south of us, but probably right up on those fucking markers. Definitely make sure we get the first shot. Are we continuing to push command? What's the, what's the plan? We're waiting for three to get in position and we're gonna let uh, four take the shot on that hook. Move up to the infantry.
that take up by enemy action or did it just get fucked? We were hit by a missile and then as we dismounted, we glitched underneath it directly. Copy, understood, understood. Four, watch out. Ten team flanking. We believe it came from the town. Understood, three. Alright, in that case, uh, you should be good to proceed on foot. Just definitely don't get any. And two's BMP as well. Unsalvageable. Amazing. Alright, good work, good work. Uh, two. Uh, towards the call ops. Command. I'm not in a great spot right now, so I gotta either hope we'll send or fucking go west towards squad. Honestly, you can probably just come over to me one. You roll your BMP up, you should be. I mean, like, I'm not dead, and I'm standing in the middle of the Uh, we haven't crested the road yet. Yes! Which is why the BMP can roll up from here, crest the road, take out the infantry targets, then you can push in behind the. past it. The tree line's only about. 50 meters from the actual road, and there's also a ditch by the road up here as well. I would say you should come down. If you think about it, that's uh. Come meet me over by this there's a lot less station. people on the field because of all of the vehicles for Russia. That means. There's a wall that I want to get. Infantry are going to be so much more important. The vehicles are key to clearing out infantry before the infantry can go in. Or the Russian foot soldiers can go in, rather. Um, my plan is a, a the next BMP D10 on the chopping block. Frost and fishbowl slowly uh, crawling up. Jackalite Hunter is actually back on a toe. I think Jack's back on a toe. Yeah, they rebuild a toe. You are not to He's looking for targets. Just get over here. Copy that. Yeah, three, why don't you go ahead and screen the town? That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, since you don't have any screen screen for their anti tank teams. One BMP down. Two BMPs, two tanks, and a BRDM to go for Russians. And this is actually a, a oof position. He's basically only guaranteeing that nothing's going to come from their north and their northeast. I don't, I don't see unless the vehicle rolls right up on him. Not sure what that's meant to do. We've got uh, Merrick. If infantry squad now moving is going to screen the village and it looks like Hedda is moving infantry over to support that AT from behind is becoming a real thing soon we'll have uh, US in a much better position Russia need to get it in gear and infantry are in contact here Looks like they got uh, spotted three, trying to take this, uh... They got, uh, spotted in this ditch. I'm gonna take option three, two. You have been ordered to approach directly towards the FOBs to be RDMs. You will be fine. There is no one there to stop you. Uh, one, Copy, let's go ahead and get the BMP rolling up directly engaged. And then the support should be enough. Pony wants to go. To let us get in. So here we go. BRDM and an infantry squad will approach from the west to the east. And it looks like might be having some infantry come up over this hill. So another... Uh, oh, here comes a tank too. Maybe not. The BMP shows itself. Jack is back on the toe. He's not going to have a target until the BMP actually gets yeah, to the other side three, of the three, road, up on the seven. embankment. Copy. How many go one five seven? You said. Yep. Right. Oh, make sure to use our 
Russians already yeah, taking a casualty or yeah, giving US casualties over here. At this point, we are. Whoa. I don't see the other team's casualty list. Contact southeast, about 200 meters. Grenade goes off near Dash Beach. And a second one kills him. Dash Beach down. And here comes the second squad with the BRDM. Yeah, they're, they're right in here. Scrooby is destroyed by an HE. Just start, start oh, shooting shit. This isn't even a gun I'm in, son. I don't even have it. Yeah, I don't. Oh, you're yeah. in. Oh, yeah, you must be. Toe launcher. It's a tank. And it's gone. Looks like volley fire, tow plus more. And I think that was a BRDM that just got lit up inside the... Got the BRDM is dead. Russia losing a lot of vehicles early on here. And the AT squad haven't even right, made it yet. And the second tank is dead. Russian infantry need to, need to make it going now. This is bad news. Bunny's about to go down. Russian command is dead. The MRAPs are coming in from behind. It's turning up for US. Russia not having enough aggression here to continue on. Command go down. And it looks like Command Comps now realizing the pony's dead. So the air maps behind Peach is just on the 50, lining up whoever's trying to shoot him. And guess what? He's in a crow's. Alpha Guido and Zero Point are running straight at these guys. Uh, three seven strong. That way, I'm wrapped in the crow's I'm wrapped to three west on the side of the road. Some of the Russians are Still moving sure towards or holding their position. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Guido takes a shot at Coach, puts two, puts three in them. Ligar knows something's up in front of him. Gets both zero point in Alpha Guido. Is that a hit? That looked like a hit. Yeah. Peach is going to have to move his MRAP. We have one uh, lat hit on the Pro MRAP. That's just the Crow MRAP, though. The AT tow MRAPs are uh, on site looking for targets. Russian infantry getting close to the compound, though. Seneca moving in. He's about ready to start breaching this compound. Watch me. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, there goes another BMP. Like infantry at the little pond, and uh, that's Uber, nice too. Hey, friendly over here. Just gonna go crawling There's straight for Wolfgang. A lot on the east side. Hey, they trade. There's still one more in the trench that's on the east. Russia. Friendly here, friendly here. There's one more. Making really good progress clearing this compound, but they are they gonna have enough men? I don't know. Why can I not see this? I still can't see this. Hold on. We're just gonna do this real quick. What in the world? Okay, I can't see how many people are left alive for US. So. That's kind of nuts, though. The, uh... ATM wrap. Looks like one of them are down. Nope, the other one's just displaced. ATM wraps, I guess, I don't know if they were responsible for any kills. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's causing a lot of unbalance for Russia at this point, but. We're going to get back over there and take a look. I don't know why I can't see U.S. casualties. I can't see the scoreboard. It's just like vanilla right now. We saw command comms, anyone? Still me. It's just me. Uh, let's see. I Looks like two there's to to me and one of my only two squads Six. left for Russia. We're, we're like trapped up there. I mean, we can't get it from China. But... Peach is still in this uh, Dear MRAP. Dear Mass, still east in the trench line to northeast, approximately uh, Echo 10. Uh, it must Six. have been something bugged with we how I went into spectator mode. Compound is clear. Yeah, maybe I'll try to reconnect during the break here. Russians on the point, though. Ooh, and... Fuck, did that get shot? I think we're getting shot through the building. U.S. making their way back, but Russians are gonna disable the U.S. ability to. Right, get on. Get as soon as you get that up, fucking find a building. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, you know what? U.S. still have that uh, GBU it's that they've never used. I believe so. I got the radio dug down. We're securing the compound. I got three on me, one to myself. Russian numbers are low. You're the only ones up that I... Three, six. Uh, seven makes thirteen, and apparently not everyone is leaving squads, so it could be as little as uh, ten people left. Pick a building. We're gonna hold. Okay, you like that one? Koopa holding by himself against Doobie Scoo Sled running around. He's trying to stop Sergeant Jackson and rather Scott's chat from moving forward. And here comes one of the uh, MRAP toes. Any more ET up for Russia? Probably not. It's just circling them. Headbuster has a lot. It's just circling them. Headbuster is going to try to make a shot at this. Too close to arm and it hit the wreck. And if he'd gone outside any further to shoot it, I think Sergeant Jackson might have found him. And here we go. Bag of Joe, modern death, running right into it. Another one from the north, northwest. Another map V? Yep. 
Sounds like I it. I got a second map, you pushing in from what? How many guys do you still have? Those forces. It's just head bust in Glen Park on the point, I think. Uh, yeah, there goes Headbuster. How the fuck did you not die? Here comes the Russians trying to push back down through the field, or through the uh, forest over here to the southeast. Oh, they're trying to shoot Bartok. Mm -hmm. I guess missed. No, he hit it. A second shot here. And Peach is gone. There goes the 50 cal MRAP. So now it's just uh, tow MRAPs and... Oh, and Bartok just got hit. Bartok, before you die, do you want to say anything? Uh, it, this was a good run. Well, let's shoot back, you big dog. I can't. <laughs> I can't see. Where's my blind fire? I need it. I, I can't suppress him from you. Move away. Right, I'll suppress him a little bit. That time wrap's still up there. I'm trying to get eyes for you guys. Legar gonna sacrifice himself. Jesus. Oh. Frag rockets now. The Russians are off the point officially, and it's just uh, six Americans on the point. But that doesn't mean they're the only ones left on the map. Doobie Skew's holding cover from the blown up uh, BMP. Yeah, you're about to bleed out, by the way, Lager. Legar makes it. But, he takes another bullet, he's done. That's all Chicken can do, is just, uh... He's 260 in the ammo. I didn't fucking kill him, because... What will OWI yeah, to get rid of spectators? I don't know. You should suggest that they do that. In a few for a future update, so go to their uh, features request channel in their Discord and uh, just you know give them a, a well formatted message that explains the spectator mode needs some love. If we had outlines, we wouldn't be... Oh wow, we're shooting AT4 because why not? Blind firing AT4 because we can. Celtic data, he got his moss, he's reloaded there. The Russians are just pinned here. It looks like four Russians against the world. They're just firing in here. Actually, it looks like it's just three Russians. It's just Chicken Bar talking to Legar. <laughs> Moss are shooting smokes now. Oh, who's this moving over here? Oddball and Dubisku are running at it. Bartok gets gunned down. One AR on the Norway. Someone's shooting at uh, Legar and they're missing. Oddball's dead. Chicken kills Oddball. Is he gonna get Doobie Scoo? Oh, this is interesting. Nope. Doobie Scoo gets him. And we're gonna look at Legar. Legar's the last one alive, it looks like. I'm the only one.
He gets spotted. Ed is taking shots at him. Now everyone else is, and enough bullets will do it. Play guys dead. One, two, three, four, five, six US remain. And that's gonna do it for round one of Metal Monsters. Round two coming up very shortly. I'm going to uh, get something to drink. We'll be right back for round two. Bow down before your leaders. All right, welcome guys. I, welcome back, round two. Excellent job, expert. round one. Um, even though a lot of people died, we uh, we took out all the vehicles, which is really just the uh, the main goal of that whole mission for the U.S. is to eliminate the vehicle threat. So you guys did that. Awesome job. Good shooting. Um, good maneuvering. Everybody kind of I heard that followed orders and uh, good stuff. So this time the onus is on us to go ahead and try to wipe the Americans completely off the point. Uh, the U.S. cop location is somewhere in Charlie Twelve. Um, so it can be anywhere in that grid. So fun times. It probably is in that compound in Charlie 12, three, which is a high point, uh, up there. If anybody's familiar with this map, it's a uh, compound surrounded by some fences on the outside and a bunch of open fields all around it. So that is probably going to be their Alamo point and that's fine. We are going to approach from the North. Um, we are going to do a platoon rally with the vehicles in echo seven, four, uh, mark that real quick with the five. And it's near Dead Man's Bridge. Uh, Alpha Guido is running the uh, the armor uh, section, so he's going to send the BRDM up ahead, and they're going to scout out Charlie Ten Five, the hilltop up there. More likely, the US is going to have an OP or maybe even a squad up there with the AT assets. So they're going to go sniff that out and see if we're going to run into trouble when we're trying to cross that that area. Uh, if they do, we'll make plans. The squad will go up there, clear them out, or whatever we need to do. But once the uh, once the the scout is up there, um, then we'll start rolling up our other assets. The the U.S. I don't want to have the U.S. Uh, fully aware of our of our intended uh, direction of approach for the entire platoon. Um, so we're gonna play it kind of um, kind of a little bit of stealth here at the beginning. Uh, once that. Charlie 10 point is secured and we know that the village uh, over there in uh, Bravo 10, 9 and the, the buildings there in Bravo 10, 3 are clear. We're going to roll up the platoon uh, and each infantry mechanized squad has their own B BMP. So squad leaders are briefed on their approach. Um, once again, our task is to find a fob somewhere in Charlie 12 and dig up the radio and then defend that location. So. I'm going to give the last minute and 30 seconds back to your squad leaders so everybody can set out in their vehicles. Uh, good luck. Remember to be aggressive. Uh, BMP drivers, uh, don't be afraid to use your uh, vehicles, but uh, also use infantry screening if possible, okay? We're going to try to sniff out their tow positions before they find you. Thank you. Good luck. So, any good things up yet? Nope, because I don't think the U.S. can build until live. Oh, hey, we're live. So, once again, the objective is Russia to attack and destroy a point held on Charlie 12, this time by U.S. forces. Yeah, you guys need to, well, that to over, over pass and push you guys to bring it in. A little bit of uh, miscommunication here. But uh, U.S. are holding the point at the Charlie 12 area. They got a couple toes, they got a bunch of AT-4s. That's fine, just keep going, just... Rush have a bunch of armor. Two T-72s. Three BMP-2s. And a BRDM. Uh, U.S. also have a uh, attack force that they have split up. Uh, two tow MRAPs and a 50 cal uh, MRAP. 
Auditorium rep by Fisco, Jackson, and Lagar coming up to MSR on the east side. Is kind of making some moves. Clay J's M rep of the 50 cal variety finds the main road. And Killer J is trying to. Uh... Oh. This is a deployment. This is a little frontline drawing. So I think he's meant to be in this location to help screen the base. Yeah, north is fine, but you guys are getting close. You need to make a right hand turn soon. Yeah, yeah we're going to be breaking across the field here shortly. We're far enough back, oh. they have eyes on us. Oddball is running that BMP real fast. Um, he's closed a lot of distance here. I don't think these guys are meant to be coming down the road this far. Ooh boy. Guys, I've made a decision. I've made a decision. It's that I'm not going to be streaming Wednesday's operation. We'll be streaming Wednesday's operation. Uh, hold on, I've lost my bearing here. Hold on a second. I'm actually going to be squad leading next week. On Wednesday. It's going to be fun. I haven't done it in a couple weeks. And before a couple weeks ago, I hadn't done it officially. Like, uh, in... A year. <laughs> so, get back into the groove. Uh, BRDM making some moves here. Okay, this uh, AT MRAP has come off the hill where it was marked. So, yeah, I guess it was a holding area. This guy is basically watching to see if anyone comes at him. He's trying to maneuver. He's probably going to get alongside this 50 cal and they're going to push up this way. Russia platoon is pretty, pretty spread out. SLN is fun. We have a squad that acts right. Too true. If you like to talk, I don't mind it, but, uh, wait, where are they going? He's going across the river. They're all going across the river. I missed the logic of this play. Going for elevation. Okay. What was that? We may not have the fog might be too thick. We may not have good eyes out south from here. We're gonna just try to confirm with uh infantry real quick. And if not, we're just gonna relocate. Turn my fly speed up in uh a couple things. Just want to make sure that uh, we were getting some good speed here, because goodness sakes, there's a long way to go back and forth. BRDM has actually made a significant push. Um, Ignore those two markers. Oddball and Zero Point are looking around. Um, Salty, continue west. Continue west down the trees. Continue west. Okay, moving west. Tell me if you see anything and squad comes. I kind of like this idea. Salty is scouting ahead of the for the BRDM. So they're looking for infantry to shoot at them. Now, right, Charlie yeah, 12. Breaking out from the right point. The virtue uh, of taking uh, Charlie 12 here for now, so set out security, uh, in a second. Discipline. Actually really close here. Oh, they're actually really close here. Hold on a second. Frost and Headbust are in this hamlet right here. This was the objective for round one. 
Can we join? Hey, no, you cannot. An echo ten two nine in the old farm. I'm pretty sure Frost has eyes on this BMP. Because the BMP just spotted them. Yeah, they're, they're in our old location from round one. All right, copy that. Wow, they're so Jack, far away. Copy that. They're going to be in Echo 10 2 in that uh, location we were before. All right, copy that. I don't even know what direction. Yeah, they're north. How are they seeing these guys from this distance? The BRDM, actually, Salty Potato. Are we good to slowly move up, expert? No, not yet. Oddball should know either. that we these guys have, have been spotted here, so. He might try his off. luck. Yeah, yeah, He's got zero point, point looking. You can't move close because uh, there is contact in Echo 10 to 9. And we should probably, it's probably safe to assume that if they're in Echo 10 to, they might have Ellis I wonder in if we Charlie can, 10 5 how far or we that can Bravo 10 9. Stretch this. All right, copy that. Just, uh, if we yeah. turn the engine on, that'll uh, probably be the end of uh, to get our sneaky. Yeah, head busted yeah. with the lat. He's got a hat. Just cover our south, man. Look for an AT team. Right. I got a little bit of time while you scout out a spot up there. If you're so, looking to join the One Life events, you need to take our basic SOTT course. You can find uh, listings for that on the calendar on our website. So, squadops.gg. Hey, actually, my guys are calling out that heading north is a bad idea. They're going to have to head south. They, if they start that engine, they're probably going to get hurt. Are you okay with that if they're spotted? Yeah, I want them spotted. Who? Who? The, the BRDM? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. They can put a couple rounds into those guys. I, you know, just as long as they can get out. I just re really need to clear Charlie 10 6 because I don't want to try to maneuver the platoon around a hilltop of which is uh, an island by itself. Yeah, you need the basic SOTT course to participate in these operations. It's a uh, orientation course, teaches you or reminds you some basic tactics about the game, how we do things, and it's a uh, assessment of your, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's an assessment of your uh, of your capability of paying attention. But Roger, uh, my BMP is going to stay back here. The driver just rejoined. You will need a mic. That, that, that's fine. That's what I asked for. Yeah. Just, just yep, got it. It. And you'll need to be there. Command, be advised this hilltop's no good. Uh, as far south as I, I was, we couldn't even see the southern hilltop. So we're going to have to. Maneuver. So this was oddball okay, getting okay. eyes on. Oh. If you want, I can send my tanks immediately and see if we start blasting uh, away at those guys in Echo 10 uh, uh, We should be far enough away that the tow won't be able to see or hit get us. Ready, get get can, ready to uh, put your F's in chat for there. this BRDM. That's fine. If you want to make contact with the east, that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm concerned about Charlie 10 too, so I need something to go scout it out. <laughs> Headbusters moving true. towards it from the north. Dash B has got to be trying to range this shot. If he's not already taking a shot at it. Uh, soon. That's a guy eyeballing. Let's shoot him. Two five five bush, inside. Dash B. Laying down. Two five five. Is that Left. on our level or? High? Yeah, same level, same level. Just a two five hill. five. Two, five He's five. not looking in the right direction. He's got. You got to turn it. You got to turn it zero. Just engage. I don't have object. eyes yet. Two five five. Two five five. They're hitting somewhere else. Totally. Two five five. Two five five. Uh, lower, lower, uh, on our level. Lower. No, that's not 255. That's 240 or something. Check your compass, check your compass. That's oh, shit. 255. Check it out, dead. They were shooting an infantry. Tinkerbell was over here, Two, but the real target was Dashby, I think. Here, uh, BMP here. Uh, Dashby has AT4. The side of the road and, yep. Uh, position yourself but all this time, they're giving Headbuster time to catch up. 
Matter of fact, Salty Potato's right behind him. Right, that Buster might be able to get a shot out here. Head Buster gonna take down. a shot. He's gonna lose it. He lost it. Salty just let these guys run right over top of him. What a pro. He knows he's right. dead if he shoots. Salty yeah, needs to. to trouble they seem to be guys everywhere in between them right now. He's trying to move around now. All right, that's fine. Salty, I think is just right, stuck no. here. He's got to. He's got to start making moves back to his BRDM. Russia holding position. Xbit wants all the information before he makes a move. Headbuster and Frost are just going to hold position here. Echo 11 6. And Salty's just stuck. Now they might be trying to come back and pick him up. Or at least get closer. All this waiting, man. Oh, the other cameras you saw were event admins. Yeah, so tonight we've got Sinful Groove and Rain Man. Making sure everyone yeah, stays probably, within probably our rules. One move in to try to get eyes on. There, there, there's no real safe way for them to get eyes out. And Salty's going to make a break for it. All right. And it looks like so he's I'll getting out of there. I'm going to ask you to send a tank to go ch Charlie ten three for me. Yep, sorry about that. We're moving. Uh, we're moving now. All right, Russia going to def deploy a tank. My mistake, actually. I did not catch that one when you were previously ordering it. That's my bad. TPS is quite low, so and people are cutting oh, out. Please head for everyone. Jack, try to get some words in there real quick. I don't know what that's about. Command comms may be a little choppy right now, but uh, everything still seems to be okay. If you've got to stick with us like glue, then... Salty gets it. back. We'll have you dismount when we're definitely stationary. Okay. Russia yeah, making moves. Get eyes. Oh, there's like a rich here. Wolfgang. That's, that's okay. Looks like a you're whole you're squad you're is actually. Is that a whole squad? That's a fire team. Dwarf's got a fire team and himself. Let's go take a look at that. It'll still be a little bit before the tank gets in position. They are just looking for anything to come into this field. And this is a amazing view, actually. They might actually be able to spot some, uh, some armor moving in the distance here. That could give us a lot of clues. Oh, what is this? Oddball, the BRDM is rolling straight past. Oh, no. He's rolling straight in. He's rolled straight past U.S. Infantry. Are they going to take a shot at him? He just cannonballed it straight south. No one's shooting him. And they have shot no one. Wow.
Yeah, I guess it makes a lot of sense. They don't have any AT over there. It's still Head Busta, also Dashby over here. Dashby's now the closest lat unit. But on top of that, every if the if the BT BRDM gets within eyesight of the base here, they might take a shot. But right now they're not. So many trees in the way. Dash B here is the closest lat that could take a real shot. And the tank is actually engaging Charlie Tens. So that's Dwarf's guys. Dwarf's dead. That's the first casualty. Looks like two kills. Go ahead and start moving your infantry up. Start using cover. Try to see if you can't get to that ditch that's below. The first kills of the operation. And then. I'm gonna have your guys actually by tanks. The, uh, Charlie 10, it seems to be uh, dwarf. Once the tanks lighted up for about oh, did I miss? Yeah, this is where they were. Roger that. You trench to the northeast. So Delta 9-3. Tinkerbell yeah, first died to the BRDM. Yeah, I believe Tank there's a low point. Tank killing dwarf here on the point. West. Uh, trench, north. I, it, um, I don't know if that's a dirt road or trench, but I think there's a uh, trench. Expert wants to use to this road. ground here to skirt around. The tank is now engaging yeah, these guys the directly, and they still have AT here. Chalk is here. Someplace where you're safe. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, there's also Captain Morgan has got a guy further out here. The BRDM is now. <clears throat> yeah, going. Sorry, the tank is just shooting this compound, um, but the uh, U.S. have moved off it. Team set to the south. Uh, south of the tank so that he can provide a screen security from the the, the contact we had in Echo 10. Hold on a second. The BRDM is just driving around the south side right now of the uh, and squad one, squad of two, the base. Go ahead and move your BMPs up to your current positions. No toes that I can see on the U.S. base right yet. Oh, but it's stationary. You should get ready for a tow right in front of the Oddball. Oddball wants to make some kills here. See anything? You're free to engage if you see Negative, anything. Negative, uh... Oh, enemy 070. 070. 070. 070, they're staring, they're staring right at us in the tent. Mind your drivers. Shoot 070 if they have these are out there. So. Almost had a shot lined up on the BRDM. And here comes the harassment. Confirmed infantry inside. Gunner is terrible. The vehicle's moving the entire time. Now that you're out here, you probably want to switch to uh, All right, my uh, HE and put some rounds out there. That's why you need someone in that right, commander's seat, in. man. Those optics are important. BRDM bugs out. The AT team has actually maneuvered way closer here. All right, squad two, whenever you feel ready, start approaching the Charlie 10 to compound. A from it's Wait, open field. it drove past the P A P. Mind if I go west around three and counterclockwise? So How did they miss the, the BMP? Side. The BMP was yes, waiting. Advised, the BMP just took a tow. There seemed to have fucked off once my uh, Bravo tank engaged. The MP's done. The tow is bugging out. Merrick gets uh, hit on the tow MRAP gun. Squad two, squad one, go ahead and move. And that uh, tow MRAP's going to take a rocket to the back. That's no longer safe. They still have Clay J in this 50 cal, and they know he's in that turret. But it's a it's a crow's MRAP. The 
Heading to my west, engaging us right now. And Clay J takes a hit. But the Crow MRAP, uh, not yielding. Oh, it looks like it's lost a wheel. It's lost the front wheels. That's some ability disable on the tow on the Crow's MRAP. U.S. or uh, Russia still making moves northeast side of the point, or north, north, directly north of the point. I think they're trying to save the BMP. They may have saved the BMP from cooking off. It looked like it was on fire. Or if you can try to work on pushing some infantry towards them, tanks are going to move up to assist from the southwest. Yeah, it looks like the BMP was on fire, but they saved it with a last minute, the last second repair. Do you have eyes on the, on the MAT? Another shot on the, uh... The 50 cal MRAP, Clay J is stuck here. He's lost both of his front wheels. He's going nowhere. And there's another hit on Clay J. He's gonna have to abandon the vehicle. He wants to try to move it first. Do you want me to keep moderate depth and screen for any AT or do you want me to tell him to come back here? Barb top. Oh, never mind. There goes Clay J. Another rocket hit. Bartok is right here. He could end the BMP with a solid hit. But now Chicken and Bartok are abandoned. They're sort of by themselves, but they hear the BMP moving. Bartok is looking for a shot. He's not going to get it because it's on the other side of that fence of those houses. Roger, they cleared all the buildings. Uh... Except for the Bravo 10 3 ones. The BRDM is actually coming up to assist as well. And it looks like the tanks have turned two. They're scanning for these tow MRAPs. You can see hey, the I'm Russians right on the top of your the screen right now. They're maneuvering on this hill to their south. Bartok is looking for this BMP. Or we could try to Bartok have at the BMP bottom right of your right. screen. He's turned towards. Looks like the BMP thinking about moving out here. The tow air map is still facing is southeast. Oh, Charlie nine sixty. The BMP is also moving. Or oh, sorry, the the tow air map's moving. Southwest from us. Copy. We have no audio uh, on them. They must have. I don't think they pulled it off southwest because we probably would have heard them. Bartok's waiting for the right moment to take a shot at this thing. The tow air map is re-maneuvering. It looks like he wants to try to get a little bit further out here. Hey, Tanks yeah, are moving up slowly. The, uh, it's a... Uh, that's a gambit. That. These things are... These tow air maps are glass cannons, to but... They could do some the serious damage yeah, if they're folly firing on these tanks. Copy. I can... Uh, I can we, if the BMP isn't going to help, the tank can come back, but we're still trying to lie low waiting for these... Uh, safety squad behind us. And now Bartok can hear the tanks approaching from his northwest. And a matter of fact, there it is. Elite gunning. No, elites in the Commander's seat with Scottish chap in Nashville driving that tank. Bartok might fancy his chances, but I think he's still waiting. He just got shot at. Looks like Money Man, Scrooty, Scroopy. Uh, maybe Scroopy has the best shot on it. So Bartok and Chicken are going to try to make uh, make tracks the safest way possible the BMP is just bait right now the uh, AT squad have moved their MRAPs back they're looking for tanks to come at them hey four uh, there's a guy directly north of your position right now yeah, oh elite actually got out of his tank so he's on foot That's interesting. It's like the BRDM yeah, tactics. We've, we've 
And this is the one MRAP that's been hit several times. Oh. Bartok, uh... Bartok and Chicken are dead as they try to make their way across the road. Two more kills for Russia. Five to zero. And Bartok is dead. Okay, we can firmly take that Bartok. <laughs> Bartok has been killed, so for any vehicles, you can rest easy. Jack with a little bit of I swagger. Like disconnected right after he died. It was brilliant. Two, update. Is that uh, compound clear? Russia making yeah, sorry, big moves. Close to, to within 700 right, meters. Alright, copy that. The AT, t the AT vehicles are moving. Uh, Killer J, Merrick, and Got'em Coach in the wounded MRAP. Looks like they're making moves. I think Green, that's the wounded MRAP. Yeah. Cop. So Elite is literally running a uh, point screen for the tank. That's actually kind of amazing. Oh, look at this. Towerwrap's going to get on the island. They're going to get an elevation of their own. They're taking shots? The BMP is shooting something. Elite died. Uh oh, was that TK? Oh. BMP killed. BMP killed Elite! And there's the first Russian casualty from round two. F's in chat for Elite, please. He died as he lived on the edge. So this is kind of a cool posture for these AT okay. MRAPs so now. Russian cream he's killed somehow. All right, copy that. Uh, four, uh, why don't you go ahead and start your approach. These uh, three, toes to, uh, might be uh, able to scan for to, uh, smoke or something. Oh, never mind, you're working on it, I see it. But this fog is just impenetrable. I mean... That's a tank. That's a that's a that's a BMP. Right. Infantry's not ready to ready for further attack. in the center of your screen. You tell right, me if you see anything moving there. Contacts, um, you see those names? That's a BMP. Bravo the BMP at about a click. You ain't seeing a BMP at a click right now. I can't see this. Looks like the tow ramp's gonna get closer. Wait, they took a hit. Uh, oh no. One of them just got out. Say again? US and Russia are on the cusp yeah, of erupting the gas, so here. Oh, here's one right, okay. BMPs moving up. I might want to hold here for a minute. It's our buddies, your Nightmare and Silas. You will not guess what just happened. I can Let see the knoll that they're on okay, top of, I believe. You want to cross another um, bridge? Yeah. The... Just half of it is off the bridge. Half of it's on it. You know, I... I honestly don't want to go back and help because you guys knew those log bridges were bad. And you still went across. And hey, you want to go back to the right, but I'm in a good spot right here. Alright. You got unstuck. Well, that's good. They got unstuck. Oh, someone's dead. Chaka died. At the base of the radio tower, he was skylining. And he got spotted by the BMP. Alright, all squads, I'm going to let you go ahead and independently start your approach and your assault. We can take it slow. Um, we don't need to actually push the uh -oh. it's about 300 meters out. So just uh, What's that? start making the approach. Start gaining a I guess the tank's fired. Area. Tanks are firing. 
damage. Damn it. Can't even see what they're splashing. Uh, they're like the 170 ish area. Just blind firing right now. Oh, that was awesome. Sphinx is the only one left for okay, US on this careful, line. Because uh, we have guys up in Bravo 1152. Sphinx is just hiding in the concealment of the bush right there. I wonder if Lima Bean will actually see him. Probably not. That's kind of a rough, uh... That's super rough. Where is Sphinx looking, actually? Sphinx is still looking... Um... He's got Binox, it looks like. Yeah, he's looking, uh, north. So he's probably like, Oh, I see a tank! I, I see where the tank is shooting from. And infantry are actually crossing right in front of him. Garrett's running up this ridge. He might hear Garrett trying to climb up this hill. Alright. He still has his rifle out. Garrett's slowly coming up. He stopped. It's not good. Will Garrett see this? Come on, Garrett. Look a little bit to your left. There you go. Garrett kills him, but takes a bullet. Didn't kill him in the first burst. We had sparse contact close to our position. Now, Pony is commanding oh, US. And your ally and Pony are running away. He's trying to get elevation to call in a, uh, he wants to call in an airstrike. So Pony is trying to get a position so where he can stay alive and call in this airstrike. Russian making real advances here. US haven't really shifted their defense. These, uh, AT MRAPs are making moves a little bit closer. Looks like the one that's on the, uh, west side of the river is gonna come back across. They're gonna push together. And also Jack's group, it's got their BMP rolling pretty fast yeah, and they're rolling. Last the, the tree lines, check for tow positions and then bounce your BMP up to cover you on your next bound. That's how it should work. There is a tow position built on the uh, base and it's facing northwest. Let's see if we can find that real quick. Uh, the tow position is... There. So the tow in a pretty good position. If US push further south and they try to sweep around, that's bad news. The first vehicle that, this, that clears the tree line Matter of fact, there we go. We got someone on the gun immediately, and that's uh, Edukin. Once these MRAPs make themselves known, they have to pick the right target, and it's got to be volley fire on a tank. But honestly, anything could just end those things. Oh, no! No, I was lying. Where's that BMP engaging one? It is pretty far in this building. It's caused Nuclear Twister and Captain Morgan to bug out. US still have a lot of AT. Remember, they have 10 hats throughout their entire squad. And their AT MRAPs are still alive. And they still have their tow. There's a lot of potential for these vehicles to go pop, pop, pop very soon. Oh, look at that! A kill from a tank. And Terrapin's dead. The BMP covering. Or sorry, the second tank covering. This is what they needed. 
Oh, but here comes a technical strike. The tanks are smashing the gas. One tank is disabled by GBU. Both tanks, both tank traits are dead. All thanks to Pony. And Pony's got his eyes looking for people. Uh oh. That was a tow. Hit the other tank. They think the tow position's down. Adokin is still on that tow. He's reloading. Is he gonna blind fire the tow through the smoke? Both tanks disabled. We are to spot it. Right, copy three. Maybe you could do a roll and peek and all that to keep their heads down. A uh, tank gets another kill. Fishbowl's dead. We're uh, currently firing on infantry. Possible uh, tow location. There it is. The tow from Aduken kills in successive hits. Possible infantry south of the squad. We just got taken out by tow. And that's one yeah, tank gone. Second, uh, Matt V tows to the south, on the other side of the the dips in uh, Bravo 13 and Charlie 14. Copy. Squad three, can you? And the uh, Matt V's have split up. Looks like they're gonna try to rescue Bravo Pony. 13. Pony's trying, probably trying to get this thing over here. I wonder if that turret can turn at all. Yeah, the turret can't turn, but it's not looking behind them. And here it is. Merrick's got this thing dead to rights. And Rap stops. Merrick oh, fires. Right. Goodbye, tank. The overshot! Oh, uh -oh. Right. Where the fuck are you going? Where the fuck is that? Come from our left. Uh, our Merrick's going to reload. Is he going to move the tank? How about you move the tank? Merrick's going to reload the tow. He's not gonna miss twice, is he? Scott's just turning. And the toe hits. And it's burning, and they've lost left track again. And he can't make a shot. Looks like the turret has gone on it as well. And that's it. Pony. Not a good, not a good look. Tanks are dead. And Pony is now shooting up Nashville. <laughs> Pony and your ally god have killed another Scottish chap. Another toe. I don't know what that was for. Maybe they were just hitting something. Nashville's all by himself now. Yo, for your position. For I need your BMP in the day. We think we got the BMP is stuck. Oh, the BMP got hit. That's what happened. Silas and your nightmare. Definitely without a BMP. US are turning it around, baby. 13 kills for Russia, though. Only five for US after all of that. BMP is right in the right position, though. No way Adrian is going to be a shot on this. And he's actually, he's actually gone off the toe. Two tanks gone, one BMP gone. Two BMPs remain. And the BRDM is somewhere around here, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Russia getting close to this hill. They're actually making a real strong push. The uh, eastern guys. Next bit of gun to attack from the, uh, from the east now. Alright, I'm ready to Wait. attack. Yeah, I think uh, Scrooby has got these guys down. Frost is looking. Headbuster. Moving around. Oh, the B, the RDM, right, and the. One, oh, two, no. Four. Let's commence so, Headbuster's looking for these vehicles. Ross takes some shots at uh, Scrooby and he dies crossing the road.
They don't have a tank. They have, uh, they have two BMPs. At least I think they still have two BMPs. What happened to the other one? Yeah, they still have... Russia still have two BMPs and a BRDM. Command is charging the point by himself. Expert's found a way. The BMP is doing the same thing. It's cutting across the field. Any lats nearby? This tow might have a lot of targets here very soon. And Lagar's a lad too. A lot of targets for these guys coming up very soon. The toes are going kind of, are going clockwise around the base. The BMPs, rather, they're going clockwise around the base. Here comes the other uh, MRAP. All right, Mavi's hit once. Uh, toe MRAP. Where is he? We just lost. Uh oh. All right, all infantry consolidate in the point. The radio's here. Here we go, Expit, into the point. Russian infantry are on, they're clearing. Wolfgang, Guardian, running into the field. Multiple ca casualties for both teams. Remix hiding under a Lodgy. Seneca is still inside here as well. Jack Lane Hunter leading a fire team up. The BMP is still running around. O'Neill dies in the most obvious hiding spot that wasn't a hiding spot, but still got kills from. Jay Rimmick is dead. He can't hide forever. Seneca, the last U.S. soldier on the point. Guardian kills Seneca, but the grenade... What a throw. Alright, MRAP is swinging around somewhere to the northeast. The Russians now control the hilltop, and it's up to US to take it back, and here they come. The BRDM is on a roll. It's looking for Matt V's to kill. It's headed straight for one. I'm gonna hot bomb for two. Where's northeast MRAP? Is that correct? It's somewhere to the northeast. No clue where it went. It's going straight through the. It's going straight through the forest. It's right here, right in front of us. East, 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 east. Oh, 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 wait, to the left we're good, side. We're of good. Nice, nice. Uh, he's still alive, I think. He's dead now. How about that other tower map? Make sure you As if on cue. Tower map avenges its fallen twin. There's still a BMP in play! Frost is dead soon. He's just been hit by some more HE frag coming out of the BMP. US have made a real strong foothold trying to get back up here. But Captain Morgan goes down. Another Russian dies on the point. TYTY, Imanaz, and Glenn Park. Glenn Park looks like he's about ready to take this corner. Oh, Abu Ajar dies on the point. Jack is running to the radio. Uh. Okay. TYTY kills Jack. Oh. Len almost shoots his teammate dead. Oof. 
Russia still in pretty much control here. Uh, 26 kills for Russia, 31 for U.S. The BMP is still alive and it just uh, explodes, Copy. Frost. The BMP is not the alive for long, though. No, no. Say I goodbye. Get your Fs ready, Copy. chat. He's airborne. He's not gonna have enough time. Airborne tried to turn two, but he's done. Five Americans on the point now, holding the radio building and the garage right beside it. Three Russians. Northwest, he jumped over the wall. Oh, 100 Copy. meters. Come on. Peek that, I'm moving. Imanaz dead, pretty ting. Pretty ting, gonna have to uh, stay alive here, get some more kills. Try to hit the building up. Koopa uh, comes out of nowhere. Behind, behind, northeast. Cop. Back of Joe's gonna bleed out. A toe fired into the building. Oh no. Salty Toast is dead. TY TY kills Bag of Joe and it's just pretty tick on the point. Koopa's gonna run in here and or, or not. Pooty Ting. Oh, he hears the reload. They both reload at the same time. Pooty Ting tries shooting the window. Koopa's gonna run around and do the same thing. No, Koopa's still reloading. Pooty Ting back behind some sandbags. Koopa with the spray spray. And Koopa turns the corner and kills Pooty Ting. And that's it. I think that's all the Russians dead. GG is called. Wow. Russia, really strong push. Couldn't make it happen. They took the point away. U.S. reattack was strong. They lost their vehicles. It was all over.